It's our final evening in North Korea, and Dr. Ruet works late into the night to reach his goal of operating on 1,000 patients. He believes in humanitarian engagement with all of the countries of the world, whatever their politics. The, the North Korean people have two eyes like you and me. They have a mouth and they have teeth, you know? And it's for the world in general to understand that in North Korea we have a lot of people who need uh, our love. If all goes well, tomorrow the patients will have their vision restored. But how they actually see the world may be different from what we expect. At the hospital, the cataract patients are waiting for Dr. Ruet to remove their bandages. He's achieved his goal of operating on more than 1,000 patients. But they still don't know if they'll be able to see. Most have been blind for years, some in one eye, others in both. Dr. Ruet is optimistic. We did a little more than 1,000 surgeries and all with very good results, no infections. Uh, on that aspect, I feel okay. But if everything goes well, as soon as the bandages are removed, people will be able to see immediately. The minder gives us one last warning to shoot only the full image of the dear leader. The moment of truth comes first for a 23-year-old woman. She's come with her father and has been completely blind for years. Where is your ask her? Where is her father? Next is a 35-year-old woman who is blind in both eyes. hope we can make her see a little better so that she can get married. Ask her to open her eyes, please. Oil. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we spot the grandmother we had visited at home. She's been waiting for years to see the dear leader. And she's not disappointed. Each time a patient regained their sight, we were amazed to see them direct their gratefulness toward the dear leader. <laughs> Despite the hardships, he receives credit for everything that happens here. <laughs> As 
as I watched hundreds of people do and say virtually the same thing over and over and over again, I wondered which people had genuine faith and which were acting out of fear. And finally, it hit me. Here, after generations of absolute rule and complete indoctrination, there may not be a difference between true belief and true fear. North Korea is a place ruled by an absolute dictator who now possesses nuclear weapons. It's no longer possible to regard the country as an isolated anomaly. What happens here in the Hermit Kingdom can directly touch everyone in the world.